What's up all my handsome fellas out there? Hope every single one of you are having an amazing day. For those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Brian. And for today's video, I'm going to show you guys step by step how to achieve three specific unique hairstyles that I personally use on a daily basis to help cover up or better frame my big ass forehead, deep, deep widow's peaks, and my early sight of a receding hairline. I've actually already made a video in the past going into detail the many different hairstyles that I think look great for guys with a big forehead problem. So if you haven't seen the video yet, highly, highly recommend you go and check that out before you watch this video because I'll be recreating some of those styles for you today in this video. Let me also add that these three hairstyles are not only great for guys with a big ass forehead, but it's also great for guys that are just looking for a great natural looking hairstyle. And most importantly, you also need a great bed of hair. So if you're someone with the receding hairline, there's not much hair going out anymore, go watch the ending of my video. All your problems will be answered right there. Now before I do get on this video, I did get a lot of flack in my first YouTube video because let's be honest, it wasn't the best quality. And worst of all, I got flack for not using pictures of big forehead people. Although it's really, really hard to find big forehead people with a specific hairstyle when everybody is a perfectly good looking stud that doesn't have this problem. So in order to redeem myself, I will be the big ass forehead dreadful model. And I'll also show you how not all fringe hairstyles are necessarily the same, starting with this hairstyle right here. So the first hairstyle I have for you guys here today is my take on a modern side swept or side part hairstyle. A lot of men have unique takes on this look, but I do think my version frames my face and large forehead much better. Here's a current stay of my hair after a towel dry out of the shower. My base is that I have a medium length fringe with a lot of texture for better styling and a tight low to high fade which is key for guys with a big exposed forehead because it overall takes away attention from your forehead to your sexy face. Once again I have a deep widow's peak and a pretty large forehead so I'm on the same boat as you guys. In terms of products stick to a pomade, clay or paste. I personally do not like using a blow dryer but it's definitely an option if you're looking for more volume and hold in the direction you want. After rubbing the clay gently Generously through my hands, I begin by lifting the front center of my fringe, slicking it up to the side, and shifting the top parts of my hair in that same direction. All of that together with the falling side part is what creates that side step look, and what you really want is swift connected textures throughout. To properly frame your large forehead, you need solid volume at the center of your forehead, but all the magic happens once you leverage the sides of your hair to cover up the receding areas. Notice how I push the left sides of my hair to cover up my left widow's peak, then everything flows to the center of my hair and gradually falls to create that side part. I generally like to add curls to the side part, but most important it is to the front and not to the side so I can cover up the other widow's peak. Do not let the side part grow up too much because you will look ridiculous, but remember, everything in the top front scalp of your forehead should be well aligned, size leverage to cover the receding areas, and top here shifted to the side with good volume. A great casual looking handsome hairstyle. If you do not like exposing your forehead, then I recommend the following. Straight into our second hairstyle is the messy or textured fringe. A classic and edgy hairstyle, but great for large foreheads because you're hiding the forehead and laying the waist to find the look. Every style will have their own method, but for me, it comes to two techniques, which is two finger motion and scrunching your hair. Right into the style, I begin applying the scrunching technique to literally every part and section of my head. Scrunch the front, middle, the side, the top where your hair naturally grows. The whole purpose is that we do not want any flat tops. Although it is a messy look, it is very important for you guys to understand that it is a balanced messy look. I recommend scrunching outside of rubbing the clay all over your head because it creates a more balanced feel. It will take some practice, but after you're done scrunching, the rest is thumb and middle finger action to add the final touches in areas where textures or patterns look kind of off. This is your opportunity to add styling to your front fringe and feel free to add a little spikiness there and there, change in layering and spacing, and even twist the hair for an enhanced look. End of the day, it is freestyle for how you want the final hairstyle to frame your face. The key to remember is balanced volume throughout your hair and keeping that edgy style. I personally do not love down fringe hairstyles, but if I had to choose one, it would definitely be a texture messy fringe because of that cool factor. And finally, into our last big forehead hairstyle is the relaxed side sweat fringe. Can come up similar to the messy fringe, but the subtle differences that make this a unique style for myself is the less focus on crazy volume and highlighting of the swift layers and textures of your hair all shifted in one smooth direction. Not aggressive and a sleek and natural look. Now before I get into the styling, notice that I have already achieved the majority of the side sweat look in my base haircut with zero product, which is what I want. Because for any hairstyle, I stress it's not the product that will give you the look, but 
telling your barber to keep your sides tight and giving you tons of beautiful layers and textures. Once you attain the base haircut, the rest is nothing more than gentle two finger motions to enhance and smoothen out the textures and layers you already got at the barbershop. I recommend find the area of your head where your hair parts out and really focus on shifting your hair in one swift smooth direction to create that natural side swept look. Once again, I don't like using a blow dryer, but feel free to use it in the beginning if you want to further smoothen out your hair and keep a stronger side swept look. There is no doubt this hairstyle can come up pretty boy or Asian pop star like. It is a great option for younger guys, but if you want to avoid that extreme pretty boy look with this style, I recommend keeping your hair short as long as there's some sort of fringe to hide your hairline and forehead. And there you have it guys, those are my three personal hairstyles. Hope I was able to give you guys some sort of value or just some hair inspiration. If you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and hope to see all of you, some of you, or even just a few of you in my next video.